Uh, yeah, the Nobel Prize. Uh, it's changed the way I think. Uh, I, I, I couldn't have imagined. It. People told me I might get it, but I didn't really believe them. Uh, it makes me uh, uh, reflect. I, I, I tend yeah, to think that there are so many economists, they're all making contributions, uh, and uh, uh, it's not, it, you know, maybe the prize uh, overemphasizes what one person does. When, when I see myself, I see myself as just part of a huge group of economists. And the real prize should go to the whole profession. I think uh, it's possible to identify bubbles within limits. It involves human judgment. Uh, that's why we have uh, central banks and, and they have committees and, and economists who should be thinking about whether a bubble is forming. And historically, they have uh, imperfectly. Uh, the, the real problem that brought this crisis, the crisis that culminated in the 2008 uh, uh, bailouts that had to be made. The problem with this is that a view had developed that th was thought to be scientifically based, that f financial markets are perfect the way they are, and the government shouldn't intervene. Uh, that view led to the, uh, the extremity of this crisis. So the, I, I think if we go back to a more uh, common sense view that, hey, there are bubbles. People aren't perfectly rational. Uh, a central bank, that's part of its mission, ought to be to lean against. It's not going to solve them completely, but it can lean against bubbles with various policy measures. How can we combine bubbles and financial crisis like we have in a good society? What is, is there a kind of method? Yes, financial innovation. We have to think that we have come nowhere near the end of the line in financial innovation, and that many financial innovations will have a social or democratic aspect to them. That is, it's developing the financial principles to serve the people better. Uh, I, I, I talk in my own books about the ideas that I have uh, about financial contracts that are more flexible, that, uh, that respond to information uh, that might affect how it's affecting real people, that we should be developing new, this is part of my work, developing new index numbers that could serve as the basis of contract settlement. I, I, I started, uh, you're asking for my proposals, so I'll tell you what I started. Uh, with Carl Case, we started developing home price indices uh, for the express purpose, that was our primary purpose, of making the indexes the basis of settlement of financial contracts. And then we started working with Standard & Poor's to, for, to create the S&P Case-Shiller Index. They're widely cited now, but we still haven't gotten very much success in getting them uh, associated with financial contract. Now, uh, uh, a home price index for a region, like a city, is an important measure of risk outcomes. And so risk management products can be created that help people uh, protect themselves against home price fluctuations. If we had had such uh, institutions in place back in 2006 or 7, I don't think we would have had this financial crisis. It would have stopped it because it would have prevented the, the precipitating factor was that home prices were plunging and it was making people insolvent. They didn't have assets to cover their loans. And so people panicked and stopped spending. This is true in the US. It's true in Holland. The same thing happened in many countries. And it could have been prevented if we had had the right kind of people-oriented financial products.